force and laws of motion part 1 in this video we will get an introduction to forces and learn about balanced and unbalanced forces for many centuries people were unable to completely understand the concept of motion they used to think that the state of rest is the natural state of an object however scientists like galileo galilei and isaac newton debunked this theory and developed a completely new approach to understand motion we have observed that to move an object at rest or to stop a moving object we need to put in some effort this effort applied to an object to change its state of motion or state of rest is an example of force force can change the magnitude of velocity and the direction of motion it can also change the shape or size of an object now let us try to understand the concept of balanced and unbalanced forces let us do one simple experiment to understand it better take a wooden block and place it on a smooth horizontal table attach one string on both of the opposite faces of the block now if we apply force by pulling the strings what do you think will happen If we apply force by pulling the left string the whole block will move towards the left direction In the same way if we apply force by pulling the right string the whole block will move towards the right direction But what do you think will happen if both the strings are pulled with equal forces at the same time Think about it That is correct. The block will not move to either side since the block is pulled in two opposite directions with equal forces at the same time. The net force becomes zero and hence the block does not move. Such forces are called balanced forces. Here no changes in the state of rest is observed. Now what if we pull both the strings with unequal forces will the block still remain at rest In this case the block will move in the direction of the greater force If the block is pulled by the right string at a greater force than that of the left string the extra force on the right string will cause the block to move towards the right Similarly the block will move towards the left if the pulling force on the left string is greater than the right string Such forces are called unbalanced forces here as the forces are not balanced the block moves that is it changes its state of rest Let us now consider another example of pushing a car on the street If we push using less force the car may not move at all This is due to the friction acting in the opposite direction of the push Friction arises as the wheels of the car are in contact with the rough surface Here the force of friction balances the pushing force and hence the car does not move To move the car we need to apply a force greater than the force of friction That is an unbalanced force needs to be applied to make the car move However some people get the wrong impression that the continuous application of unbalanced forces will keep an object in motion 
the correct understanding would be any object will maintain its state of rest or state of motion when all the forces acting on it are balanced and the net external force is zero. Which means a change in the state of rest or state of motion is observed only when an unbalanced force is applied. A body at rest may start to move as well as we may stop due to the application of unbalanced forces. An unbalanced force can either change the speed or direction of motion of an object. So, in this video, we got an introduction to forces and learnt about balanced and unbalanced forces. In the next video, we will learn about the first law of motion.